Good morning, learners. Our subject for today is science, right? For quarter three, week seven and eight. And our topic is electromagnetism. For the MELC, our most essential learning competency, design an experiment to determine the factors that affect the strength of the electromagnet. In the previous lesson, we have learned that in series circuit, electric current flows through a single path. So when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in this circuit will not light anymore. The loosened or busted bulb breaks or opens the pathway so electricity cannot flow through. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of a different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken, or burned out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own this pathway. This time, you will learn about electromagnetism. Try to look at the illustration carefully. So this is a simple electromagnet. And what are the parts of a simple electromagnet? So we have, first, we have the battery. We have also the wire, iron nail, and coiled wire. Now what is electromagnetism? Electromagnetism is the study of electromagnetic force Electricity and magnets are closely related to each other. Electricity can produce magnets, while magnets can produce electricity. A magnet is usually made of iron. It can attract objects such as pins, coins, and other materials made of iron and steel. A nail iron is not a magnet but it can be turned into one. This is done by coiling a wire around it and then letting electricity flow through it. Doing this turns the nail into an electromagnet. An electromagnet attracts like a real magnet. It can attract materials made of metals, like pins and thumbtacks. The iron nails acts as a magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. When electricity stops flowing through the coil to the nail, can the nail still attract the pins and the thumbtacks? The answer is no because it can no longer attract the pin and the thumbtacks. Electromagnets are temporary magnets. When electricity stops flowing through a coil of wires, the nail stops attracting any metal or magnetic material. An electromagnet can be made stronger by using more coils of wire. Each turn of the wire adds more force to the electromagnet and the number of dry cells also affects the strength of electromagnet. More dry cells means more electrons flowing in the electromagnet and therefore stronger magnetism is produced. Magnets in different industries and businesses are usually used in electromagnet-powered devices such as cranes, cutters, tax machines, computers, etc. Powerful cranes use electromagnets to move scrap iron and steel or separate metals for recycling. Generators in power plants rely on magnets like the ones found in electric motors to 
help produce electricity. Transformers devices that use electromagnets to change high voltage electricity to low voltage electricity or vice versa are often used at home and in offices. Some transportation systems use magnets too. Trains, subways, trolleys, and monorails are examples of this. Scientists and engineers have even developed maglev or magnetic levitation trains which use electromagnets to float above the tracks. This then eliminates friction which helps the train run faster than ordinary trains. And for that, let us answer learning task 1. So help Ellie and Maggie collect objects which are needed to make an electromagnet and circle the objects. So you have here the maze. Okay, so let us now encircle all the objects that are needed to make an electromagnet. And we have first, okay, so the battery holder. Next, we have the alligator clip. Next, we have the copper wire, the paper clips, the dry cell, and nail. Okay. So, let us answer questions number one. Explain why Ellie and Maggie should use those materials for their electromagnet. And the possible answer, in order to attract like a real magnet. Number two question. How will they test the strength of their electromagnet? With the materials they gathered, how will Ellie and Maggie increase the strength of their electromagnet? The possible answer, the strength of electromagnet depends on the electricity that passes through it. The size of the metal rod and the number of coils in the wire if electromagnets will increase the strength if you increase also the number of batteries and coils around the nails. And for number three question, how will they remove the things which will stick to the electromagnet? And the possible answer, you can remove the things that stick to the electromagnet by means of removing the iron nail. And number four question, will they get the same result if they will use the other materials in the maze? Like for example, the rope, wooden stick, pebbles, and why? And the possible answer is no, because those materials are not made of iron. Moving on for learning task 2, prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use the other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of the activity is Electromagnet Model. So the materials, we have one battery, one large iron nail, iron nail, electrical wire, pins, thumbtacks. And the procedures. Okay, for the note, make sure that the iron nail does not have any rust. Be careful in handling materials. Okay, the first procedure. Make an electromagnet by winding the electrical wire around the large nail. Number two, connect both ends of the wire to a dry cell. Number three, Test the electromagnet by placing some pins and thumbtacks near the nail. Does the nail attract the pins and thumbtacks? 
Number four, loosen the coil of wire in the electromagnet and find out how many metals are attracted to the nail. Now, wind more coils of wire which set up attract more metals. Number five, add more dry cells to the electromagnet. Make sure you connect the dry cells properly, which set up attracts more metals. Number six, change the nail into a smaller one, and which set up attracts more metals. And for the questions that you are going to answer, what is the effect of the following variables on the strength of an electromagnet? So, number one, tightness of the wire coiled around the nail. Number two, number of coils of wire around the nail. Number three, number of dry cells used. And number four, size of nail. For the engagement learning task three, inside the box, list down appliances that are commonly used at home. Put a check mark on the appliances where electromagnetism is applied. Choose one appliance from your list and explain how electromagnetism is applied. Answer. Now, what are the appliances that are, appliances that are commonly used at home? So, we have the computer, washing machine, television, refrigerator, rice cooker, radio, electric fan, microwave oven, telephone, and electric kettle. And, okay, so the uh, appliance that we choose is the telephone because it can produce sounds by transmitting an electrical signal through electromagnets. So for learning task 4, draw a device using electromagnet. Then explain how it can be useful for home, for school, or community. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. So you will get 5 points if the drawing and explanation represents a clear understanding of the concept. You will get 4 points if the drawing and explanation represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. And you will get 3 points if the drawing and explanation represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. Number 2. The drawing and explanation do not represent the concepts learned. Number 1. The drawing and explanation lack detail. And here are my examples. So for the school, home, and community, so we have the speaker. So speakers are used to connect to a computer to generate sound, which are one of the most common output devices. And we have also for school, we have the computer. Computer can be used for online education and can also be a great source of information with the help of internet connections. Okay, for home, we have the television. So, television, we can get a lot of information and it is used for entertainment. Another one is, we have the megaphone. So, megaphone can be used when announcing some important matters in the community. Okay, and those are some of the devices that use electromagnet and uh, the usefulness of those devices. For the simulation, okay, just always keep in mind that electromagnetism is the study of electromagnetic force. So electromagnetism can be made stronger by using more coils of wire 
It can attract materials made of metals like pins and thumbtacks. They are temporary magnets and they are also attracts like a real magnet. Okay, for the assessment learning task 5, read each item carefully and choose the letter of your answer. Number 1, why is the wire used in an electromagnet coil? A. It has more force. B. It controls the flow of electricity. C. It controls the field of attraction. Or D. It makes the electromagnet stronger. Number 2. Which of the following can make an electromagnet stronger? A. By adding more dry cells. C. Or B. By increasing the number of turns in the coil of wire. C. By using a core with a bigger diameter. Or D. All of the above. And for number 3. Which of the following devices makes use of electromagnets? A. Telephone. B. Electric bell. C. Electric buzzer. Or D. All of the above. So let us now answer 1 to 3. So for number 1, why is the wire used in an electromagnet coil? The answer is letter D. It makes the electromagnet stronger. Number 2, which of the following can make an electromagnet stronger? The answer is letter D. All of the above. Number 3, which of the following devices make use of electromagnets? The answer is, again, letter D, all of the above. To continue for number 4 and number 5, number 4, which one of the following is not a part of an electromagnet? A, the coiled wire. B, the dry cell as the source of electricity. C, the pins attracted by the electromagnet. Or D, the nail as the core. Number 5. What happens when a part of an electromagnet is disconnected? A. It loses its magnetism. B. Electricity continues to flow through it. Or C. The electromagnet becomes a permanent magnet. Or D. There is an increase in the number of materials attracted. Okay, so let us now answer number 4. The answer is letter C. The pins attracted by the electromagnet. Number 5, the answer is letter A. What happens when a part of an electromagnet is disconnected? A. It loses its magnetism. For the reflection, reflect on what you have learned on this lesson about electromagnetism by completing the statements below. So the part of the lesson I believe I learned most about is blank. The task which I found most challenging, blank because blank. And then I realized that I can use what I have learned from this lesson when blank. And that concludes our lesson about electromagnetism. I hope that you learn a lot from this. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.